Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make a change to um, the source code for our application. Just fire up the MVC Music Store in Visual Studio. So take a moment. And I'm just going to run it and see what happens. So, we bring up the MVC Music Store here. And let's say our customer wants the title of the application to be changed. So let's go and, and make a change like that. So I'm going to go over to the site's master page and just going to change uh, MVC Music Store to Jeremy's Music Store. Refresh that, and we should see the change. Um, so we want to commit this change now to our repository. So we come back over to our command line. I'm going to type git status again, and we can see that we have one modified file, and we need to both add and commit that change again. So unlike Subversion, once a file's been added, you don't need to add it again the second time. You can just commit straight away. Um, git's slightly different in that an add command doesn't say add the file. What it means is add the changes in that file to the index. So we have to add that uh, file again. And we're going to uh, just do that, and then we're going to do a commit. So renamed music store to Jeremy's music store. And if we bring up the uh, repository visualizer again, we can see that we've got our extra commit in there. So. Likewise, if we want to delete a file, for example, uh, let's delete this delete me.txt that I previously added. Just save everything. And this, this time we can see that Git knows that the file has been deleted. So unlike working with Subversion, where typically Subversion likes to be in control of when files are deleted, so if you want to delete a file, typically you have to invoke a uh, svn remove command. With git, it's clever enough to see that, okay, well if a file is missing from the directory, then it's going to assume it's been deleted. So I'm going to do a um, git add dash a, so add all changes to the index. It might seem a bit odd that we're adding a deletion, but it makes sense if you think about adding the change to the index rather than adding a file. So in this case the change is a deletion, so we still have to add it. And if we do a status, we can now see that the changes that are going to be committed are a deletion and a modification. Uh, so I'm going to commit that and say removed unused file. Okay. So that's a sort of very basic workflow of making changes and committing them into the repository.